Hey guys, Zach with TrendSpider here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the draw feature for TrendSpider to draw your own trend lines. So we're going to go ahead and click on, scroll up to the draw menu here and click on trend line to access the draw trend line feature. And we can just click on the points in which we want to draw these uh, trend lines on. So I just left click there and then left click my second point and we've got a line on the chart. Uh, you can also do vertical line, I mean horizontal lines with this as well. We can do a horizontal level here if we'd like, right? And you can also create those same dynamic alerts on the trend lines that you draw as well as the automated ones, right? Then we've got some other draw features here like vertical lines, arrows, rectangles, and measure. These are for things like annotators that like to annotate the chart maybe point out some areas of consolidation or something like that and then post these charts online. So a vertical line is just gonna literally drop a physical vertical line on the chart wherever you want. Uh, then you've got these arrows, they drop arrows wherever you feel like on the chart as well. If you wanted to annotate this to some people. Then you could also do this rectangle. This is just gonna highlight an area that you think is important. So just click once and then click again, and then you could right click the box and edit the label text on it. So you could say maybe consolidation here or something. Right, and you can see that label pop up right there. Uh, then you can also measure a move on a chart. So let's say you wanted to measure a point from 278 here to 276. We could go ahead and click this measure feature left click once here and then this is going to drag back right and you can see here in the top right hand corner it shows you the amount of time that's passed the percent change and how many bars you're looking at on the screen so this is the five minute spy chart and you can see from February 15th to February 21st the percent change in it right and then you can and that's how you can measure moves on the chart as well so that's the drawing feature for now guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions about the platform or this feature, please reach out to the team and ask us any questions. Other than that, happy trading, guys, and take care.